In Fayette County, the number of deaths have jumped. People need to know uh, that this is pure poison. Almost tripled from a year ago. It is 30 to 50 times more potent than heroin. And it's not just Fayette County. We have seen over the last couple of years a, a marked increase in fentanyl on the streets in central Kentucky. And the marks are left in homes like this. These were just some pictures that my niece brought over. I mean, she was just the average girl. What do you think when you look at these pictures now? I think it's a waste. I think it's a waste that Every person in this world has potential. And this is Summer and Katie and Jolene at Katie's birthday party on, in May. Her youngest sister, Jolene Bowman, overdosed on July 1st. It's like a dream. She said I needed to get to the hospital immediately. Jennifer Powell thought this was another relapse for her sister, another chance to start over. Never occurred to her it could be the end. In a hospital waiting room, she told her niece her mother was gone. And then her daughter looks just like her. The thing I remember most is hearing her phone hit the floor. And she said to me, what am I going to do without my mom? Her 37-year-old sister had been on and off drugs for about five years. I think that um, she had a very weak moment. The last year, though, she had been clean. This picture was actually taken the first month of her sobriety. Not that this makes it any better at all, but she was not getting what she thought she was. She says Bowman never spoke of fentanyl. She abused prescription drugs and heroin. Most of the time, people don't realize they're getting fentanyl. U.S. Attorney Carrie Harvey and his team, along with the Versailles Police Department, ended up charging two men with distributing fentanyl, resulting in Bowman's death. They say she thought she was getting a prescription pill. That's not uncommon, Harvey says. Fentanyl is cheaper, and dealers use it in place of other drugs. Very few people actually seek fentanyl because it is so dangerous. Bowman was one case of the two fentanyl overdoses Woodford County has seen this year. One example in a growing deadly trend. So far this year in Fayette County, Fentanyl-related overdose deaths have climbed higher than heroin at 53. There have been 45 heroin deaths. Last year, the number of fentanyl deaths was drastically lower at 19. But numbers hold little value and make little difference when one of them is yours. Literally in a minute, gone. She's been gone for five months now. Time only stops in these pictures. And I know that she in no way intended to die. And if we can't get in front of this, that is a tragic trend that uh, is going to continue.